If I could leave you with one thought today, it would be, what can I do today that will make tomorrow easier? Life really means to me, I would say, um, whatever you make of it. For me, it's all about coming up with ideas and pursuing a, a bunch of characters in Mota and trying to build, I would say, almost like the Disneyland of Mota. I love the island that we live in. It's so small, everything is so close, it's filled with culture. In a night, you can literally do anything you'd like. You want to go meet your family, you want to go meet friends. Um, I like quite a few things, to be honest. I, I like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, not for the fact of fighting, but because it teaches you a lot. It teaches you how to build an ego and break an ego, which is quite a, a lovely lesson from martial arts. Um, what else do I like? I love drawing, I love being curious, I love going on hikes and thinking and pondering. Um, I love traveling, I love the sea. I love so many things. Mot has it all, I would say. Art, what does it mean to me? Um, as crazy as it sounds, I, I would say art, besides being meaning creative, I think art really means confidence to me. And I'll tell you why, confidence. Because at least it gave me um, the possibility to see myself that I can think and manifest it. I can make something and bring it to life. Well, sometimes I think about how I can be more effective. Like, I think, what can I do today that would make tomorrow easier? or redundant, I don't need to do it. I, I think that's what I always try to see, how I can grow and uh, make things easier. My message would be to be proactive. I've seen so much benefits about being proactive. I can give you an example. Since I started drawing daily, I can see the person I was before to the person I am today. And it's completely different because being proactive, it, it your, lots of ideas are being generated, it, it made me more confident in my art, it made me grow to places I haven't grown to. So being proactive in anything is, is I think, the best thing I would say. Some good advice that at least I had learned is to always be transparent from the beginning. So whether you're doing a collaboration, whether you have an idea, to always be completely transparent. Because at the end of the day, when you're transparent, there isn't any conflict, there isn't any problems. I've learned this the hard way, so it's something that I, I take in, into consideration. I, I believe in always treating people well and good. I believe in karma, but I would say good karma. Not the kind of, per, you know, not the kind of like if they, someone did bad, something bad to me and bad to them, but more like something, if someone did something good to me, I feel like I need to return the favor and be good to them or be good to someone else. Just passing it on. I I wouldn't say you should be limited by excuses. I mean, I, I cannot speak for other people. I can speak for myself. When there's a problem, I think it's it's our nature to try, you know, at least me to try and solve it. If I can't solve it, that's, there are other people who specialize in problems and they can solve it for you. So it's either a call away or you try and learn and see how it's done. If I could leave you with one thought today, it would be... What can I do today that will make tomorrow easier? Thank you guys for tuning in. That was a little bit about me and how I think. Um, if you made it to the end, thank you so much. I appreciate you and tune in for the next one.